for the sign of Taurus. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Taurus, we start with a devil card. Now first things first, don't let other people tell you that your opinions are limited. If you came to that conclusion in the past, you were sure that you were coming to it on your own. Regardless, it would have been crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions were holding you back at that time. And you could have done that at any time you had chosen to do so. Now, keep in mind, that you may have had, I'm sorry, keep in mind that you may have had the feeling now or at that time in the past that you were not in control of your life. Now, sometimes this happens as a result of our own actions, but more often as a byproduct of no action. So you needed to take action and whatever steps you could have done to give yourself the feeling, however small, of being in control. Now, even if that is merely making a choice on what you were going to have for dinner, small steps were very important at that time. And that card is paired with a nine of swords. Now, with this card, you would have needed to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you were feeling anxious, you needed to take a look at whether or not any of that was under your own power or control and try to lessen it or if other things or people in your life were contributing to this anxiety. If it's, if it's the case of other people contributing, take a good look at at that and see whether or not something in the relationship could have been changed to make it more workable for you. There was something about this time period that you were in in the recent past that caused people to feel like their life should have been in some way more or bigger than it was. So you need to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And that was in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Knight of Cups. Now, like most of the cup cards in the tarot, it's a good card to see in a reading. Uh, like the Knights in the tarot, this one often comes with a message messages or comes with bearing messages when I say bearing that means it comes carrying messages now usually these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive the knight of cups would tell you that things are going well or they're going to be going well and that you are likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Now this card often means good news, particularly in the areas or particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. So good news is likely to be headed your way soon. And it could be in the area of the heart, matters of the heart, where the heart is concerned. And the Knight of Cups is paired with the Page of Swords. Now, like all court cards, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in our lives. And if this is the case, the page will represent a person who is younger. They're younger than you. They're likely to have darker hair. Or they're likely to have hair on the darker end of the spectrum but it could go either way. Now the pages, they also often indicate message 
a message is coming, just like the Knight of Cups. So you may be getting more than one message. Now, if this is the case, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. Okay, so in general, the Page of Swords, it tells us that you may be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on the toes of others. You may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from others. You're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy now, but you must make sure you use it wisely. And with these two cards paired together, the Knight of Cups is about um, message messages. But the messages that are coming towards you they're the kind of good news messages that anyone would love to hear. And this card also represents uh, things going very well for you. You're feeling charged up, just like it shows in the picture, and you're ready for action. Now it's paired with a page of swords, and this uh, page of swords is also about messages. And it's probably from a younger person, someone much younger than you. Because the page is, is about a young, is about youth. And this younger person will be delivering the message or have a message for you. And unlike the Knight of Cups, it's probably something that you really don't want to hear or something that you don't care to hear. Um, it may not be what you want to hear or you're hoping to hear. So. Looks like you have more than one message coming in. One is something you can't wait to receive news about, and the other uh, you're not so crazy about. And also with the Page of Swords, just remember to not push people and try not to step on the toes of others. Um, try to study people's body language, and that will... Um, uh, give you a better idea of how to make your your moves on people. So both of them are about messages and that's going to be in the present. And now we move on to the challenge, the lover's card. Now this is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. Now it's possible when this card appears you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is saying another. Uh, okay, so the thing to do is within bounds or your morality, follow your heart because some people say there are only two modes that any one of that any of us are operating under at any time. And they usually say it's either fear or love. So when you can choose, just choose love. And the lover's card is paired with the king of wands. Now, the king of wands it indicates a male figure with lighter, well, with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Now this male figure, he wants to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a positive card in the tarot. Now even when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that men around you are generally supportive of you and think very highly of you. So you will be feeling ambitious and goal-oriented and furthermore you will have the ability to accomplish whatever your mind is set on so just you just need to remember to think positive with these two cards paired together the lover's card uh, you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship 
your heart is telling you one thing and your, and your head is another, but it's important to choose love at this time and not fear. And it's paired with the King of Wands. Um, it's, it's about a male figure. So maybe it could be you're fearing love for this male figure and that uh, your heart is telling you one thing about this man but your head is saying another and with the lover's card the lover's card points to love as an um, as a final option and it's saying to choose love so uh, whoever this male figure is uh, he's very supportive of you and thinks well of you so it's saying to choose love and that will be the challenge and now we move on to the outcome the nine of cups Now this is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's quite often known as the wish card. So it's a great time to get your wish, wishes fulfilled at this moment or at this time. Okay, this uh, wish card can mean that you are hoping for or dreaming about what it is that you're hoping for or dreaming about is very likely to come to fruition. It's very likely to be yours in a very short period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is usually a portent of happiness and good things about to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. So if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is a powerful yes. But like everything else in the tarot, it's not carved in stone. It's not carved in stone. And it's paired with the five of swords. The five of swords. You're likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general and possibly a few people in particular. Now don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling. Now if you do this, it could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if they deserve it. Try to pick your battles. And with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Cups, one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in, the, in a reading. Uh, you can make your wishes, well, your wishes should be coming true. What you're dreaming about should actually uh, happen within a short period of time. Now, when I said it's not, everything's not carved in stone from the tarot, that means that we're all at free will. So if you choose to stay at home and sleep for the whole week and uh, not get involved in anything, then you might miss out on the gifts that the Nine of Cups brings your way. Now, being that it's paired with the Five of Swords, you could be having mixed feelings about a few people in particular. You don't want to ignore these feelings, but just make sure you choose your words wisely. Okay, and then that's going to be the outcome. So Taurus, I hope this resonates with you. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day and have a great day.